So you want to make great looking, quick, and easy to learn chainmail in Blender, I got you. Add a plane into your model and then drag it up to wherever you want your chainmail to be. Make sure you rotate it so that the bottom end is at least somewhat facing toward the ground. In this case, I'm making something similar to a Viking style chainmail eagle helm. Then, sculpt your plane out so it covers the entire area you want your chainmail to go to. I used this technique recently in a video of mine where I made concept models for Warhammer 40,000's Dark Mechanicum faction, so go give that video a shot if you like this one. Once your plane has been modeled in the way you like it, go into its settings, go into the particle system, and add a new hair emitter. Set it to emit from vertices, turn off random order, render as an object, and turn on object rotation. Once your particle system is set up, shift A to add a new torus into your scene. Make it 12 by 12, give it a major radius of 0.5 and a minor radius of 0.25. Then bring it up towards your plane so you can work with it easier. Once you have this set up, what I want you to do is drag it down a little bit so it looks more like a ring than a perfect circle. Then control C, control V to make a second one. Then rotate it about negative 35 degrees to the other one, go back to the first and rotate it to 35 degrees so the two of them look like they're interlinked. Then, go into edit mode, press 2 to select edges, and then alt-click on the edge that's the second from the inside on both of the rings, and use F to fill them in. What's this doing is making sure that there's not any holes in between them, so if you decide to 3D print this, you don't have any strange errors. Then, model them a little bit more so they look like they're hanging together perfectly. Then, join them as one object, and set the object origin to geometry. Once you have your ring set up, go back to your plane, go back to your emitter system, and then click on the button which will allow you to select your instance object and select the rings. Now, every vertice on your plane is now rendering as one of these rings, and because object rotation is on, you can move them along and it'll affect the ring plane. What I want you to do is figure out on which axis you can rotate them to look the best. In this case, a 90 degree rotation on the z-axis made the rings on the plane look as though they were hanging downwards. Now what I want you to do is go into edit mode, press control R, and then scroll up or scroll down on the mouse wheel to add or subtract loop cuts. What we're doing here is adding enough into the model that it seems like the rings are actually interlocked with one another. Too few, they won't seem like they're locked in with one another, too many, and they'll merge and kind of become this undistinguishable mass. As you can see here, I didn't like the results on this side, so I went back and did it. I recommend doing this step in just little bursts so you can always use control z to go back and if and redo it if you don't like the look now that you know the basics of this technique time for some more advanced stuff don't join your instance object to any other part of the model because it'll cause your plane to go blank if you want to 3d print this just move your instance object into the main body of your model and leave it there if you export this for 3D printing, remember to export it as an OBJ file, not an STL, because STLs don't render the rings created by the system correctly, and your plane will just have this weird error show up on it. Thank you for tuning in for this quick guide on how to create fast, easy, and great looking chainmail and blender. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel, and if you'd like to see this technique in action, go check out my video in which I make concept models for Warhammer 40,000's Dark Mechanicum faction. Thank you, and have a nice day.